Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial on NLTK. So I again welcome you all to programming knowledge as well. Let's start, uh, start with a new tutorial on NLTK. So we shall start first with stemming and lemmatization. So you can type from nltk.stem. Okay. Uh, you can before that like you can do install this library nltk.download and you can download word word net. Okay. So make sure you install this library and i can do from nltk.stem you need to import two libraries which are quite long with the name so uh, one is a porter simmer okay porter simmer and another is word net and lemmatizer so uh lemma i okay this is tizer okay and, and now i'll run this file to make sure that uh, uh, clear it's right in right direction so so I have the library names are correct and this is also being downloaded so it's perfectly fine so what I can do now I need to create uh, one variable lemmatizer is equal to word net lemmatizer and another is a stemmer which is going to be a stemmer okay so these are the variable which acts as a construct object uh, to these classes now I can use them to like uh, like I have some demo purposes so so we have some demo words above this here you can see okay so what we can do we can type for word in demo words okay and like we can do in we can do in stemmer dot stem word okay and we can do lemmatizer lemmatizer dot lemmatize okay word comma p so this is just a, like uh, these are two uh, like stemmer dot stem word and lemmatizer dot lemmatize word and v stands for verb so basically what we are doing, uh, I'll explain you in short, uh, just I wanted to have a quick overview of, of the coding part. Now I'll fo fo focus what this stemming and lemmatization does. So let's add some Python, uh, uh, like random words like coding, programming, okay, uh, code, program, and something like this. Okay. So in the left, we have uh, like left is stem in left we had the stemmer okay left is the stem and in right we have the right is we have the lemmatize okay okay uh, so this is how we do so like just let's run this file so uh, yeah so what we are going to tell that basically it converts all the verbs like we already know the verbs have already uh, like some are in present tense some are in past tense present future past past present something we all we they are on different forms so we can say playing happiness going doing yes no i have having have basically having and have a coding programming or code a programmer basically are very related to each other and like go, uh, going or doing are similar to go okay and uh, we are we we know they are very similar go and in the same way doing is very similar to do okay so this is just a way of converting them into their original raw form instead of the verb verb form they are existing which could be in present past something so let's run this file so here you can see so here you can see that play is converted to this okay let me do also print the original word okay so this is how we do so we have the order would be of this would be the word them and lemmatize okay and now let's run this again i'll remove this yeah so let's run this so we see we see the word playing is converted to play happiness is converted to happy happiness going to go 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 is already doing to do or do okay both of them convert to do and yes to yeah yes no i i having is converted to have have is converted to have because having or have meant the same thing their original form was have 
had is converted to had and have okay so basically uh, you can see with context the lemmatization uh, is more accurate okay than stemming so basically both of them do the same work programming is converted to program and uh, programs is same and coding is converted to code and code so basically uh, in some context but uh, uh, like both have their own advantages and disadvantages but looking at that uh, like uh, we can say that uh, like in some sense of stem stemmer stemmer is accurate but lemmatization is accurate but the both of them have to like uh, like it all depends on you that which result has a better accuracy but both of them do the same that they convert all the uh, verbs into their original form so this is how we deal it okay so this is the way we deal with uh, lemmatization and stemmer so let's comment this now let's move to the another one uh, we can do from NLTK 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 dot sentiment import sentiment sentiment intensity analyzer okay okay and let's run this file to make sure that this is going in the right direction so yeah so we are like uh, in the right direction and then again i'll make an object sia is equal to sentiment, sentiment intensity analyzer i'll initialize this class and what we can do i can do sia dot polarity polarity underscore scores so these are three scores which is going to be defined and we need to define the sentence so i'll define uh, programming is fun okay and when i run this uh, here you can see i'll clear this yeah when i run this here you can see okay this says waiter underscore lexicon is not installed so we, we can change okay i'll also nltk dot download waiter waiter underscore lexicon okay and now then let's run this file so okay i had run in this okay 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 uh, just uh yeah oh, i made a mistake that i had to print the statement so that why it wasn't printing yeah so let's run this again yeah now you can see so it says negative score is 0 neutral is 0 0.377 and positive is 0 0.623 uh, this is a positive statement so you can uh, make your logic that which one is maximum you can assign it to that uh, another way uh, you can type a negative statement you uh, you 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 behaved very bad today okay let's uh let's run this statement and here you can see that it says a negative statement of 0 0.487 and neutral is 0 0.513 so so this is how you can do this and uh, you can also do that this is uh, like this is not good at all okay and then you can also run this you will have the score with this so, okay so this is how you can predict the scores you can try to improve the scores and this is you this is how the sentiment analysis also works okay so let's yeah so this is how we have in this tutorial so i'll catch you in the next tutorial so thank you everyone for watching this so thank you everyone and one thing you can do try out is that you can remove the stop words from this sentence and also do the like sentiment intensity analyzer so it might give you a better like uh accuracy